Let's go. No, I'm scared. Let's go. Or have you have you started? E e immortality. Let's let's do it. Oh, immortality. Here we go. Yeah. Okay. Um, so pretty much, uh, Immortality, I happen to know a lot about it. Holy fuck, I'm about to die. Um, bruh? What you have to do is you have to be born a specific way. Now, that may be confusing for some people, I know. And, you know, to be honest, when I first learned that, uh, I was a bit confused too. But turns out you have to be born with the correct DNA to be immortal. And, you know, not everyone can afford that, that's understandable. Me, personally, I was born into a extremely rich household, so I was actually created in a test tube, and that's why I am immortal. Um, so pretty much the best way to, you know, be immortal is be, to be created in a test tube. Now, see, the thing is, what might be confusing for some people, how do you become immortal when you've already been born? Simple, get yourself a new body. Now, I know you may be confused even more, because how the fuck do you transfer yourself into a new body? Well, simple, all you have to do is cut out your own brain and put it into someone else's. Now, typically you want to do this while the other body is, you know, the same age as you, so nothing gets messed up, because obviously you don't want to be reborn into a baby when you're like, I don't know, 20. So, what you gotta do, let the baby grow. There are um, serums that you can, you know, let the let the baby uh, grow faster, which is actually a thing you can do. Um, uh, there are, you know, some some other options, like putting your baby in a uh, mashed potato. Yeah, actually, a mashed potato mix that will, um, it will strengthen the baby's bones if you want to be a little invincible, you know. Is, you know, immortal is different than invincible. Um, and you know, once you once you've gained your new body, what you have to do is you have to go eat about ten crocodiles. Now, so the thing with this is, not many people can access crocodiles, and you know that's understandable. Me personally, I have a supply in my uh, backyard. Um, you know, they're pretty they're pretty accessible if you if you live with them, and uh, you know they make good pets. But the thing is, you shouldn't name them, because if you do, then you'll be really sad eating your crocodile named Phil when he's right. Anyway. So you have to be sad while eating your crocodiles. Yeah, essentially. So you um, have to be sad when you eat the crocodile. Yes. Yeah. So what you gotta do is you either have to be extremely emotional for about like three months of your new reborn life or else or you have to be um completely uh devoid avoid of uh motion yes motion that is a word now um you motion have to be devoid word. of emotions um because you know that's also an option you either have to be extremely emotional or not at all um, personally, I went for the emotional one, so I was just crying for a couple of months straight. It wasn't that bad, surprisingly. Uh, if you collect your tears, you can make them into life essence. That is a thing, you know. A uh, simple, simple recipe. Just add some, some, uh, emu piss in there, and there, there you go. Um, uh, yeah, so if you do those uh, couple easy steps, then you will be invincible and also uh, immortal. So that is how I, I lived through the potato famine and uh, ate my husband. And, you know, it might have been confusing for one who didn't know. Uh, I was born in the early 600s uh, of, you know, the world. I did witness most of the, the, the big events in the world. So I haven't told any of the history majors yet. I haven't told anyone who really cares because why, why, you know? And, uh, yeah.